Welcome to Greater Faith Outreach Ministries, reaching the world with the love of God. Hello, 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 and welcome to Greater Faith Outreach Ministries here on BD Local Studios. I am so excited and so refreshed. We just got back from Hawaii. Yeah. My daughter got married, and I am so excited. You know, Hawaii is so beautiful. It's like God gives us a little glimpse of heaven, like a little bit of seed. You know, I used to, uh, I would go outside in the morning and watch the sunrise, and I would look at the beauty and all the wow. glory around me. You know, can you imagine? what heaven's going to be like, but I just, you know, I'm just excited about City, that. Yeah. But today we have a very special program for you. We have over here, Elizabeth hi. Kim. Say hi, <laughs> Ki Elizabeth. Hi. Thank you for having me here, Pastor Elizabeth. Well, thank Kendall you for Ted. being here. Miss Bellevue, Washington. <laughs> For America 2020. So keep that in mind. She's Miss Bellevue now, but she will be. I, we're predicting that she's going to be Miss America. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen. She has such a good heart. She's a beautiful person inside and out. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Elizabeth. Yes. So I am from South Korea, first of all, mm -hmm. and then I went to University of Washington and Bellevue College to study mm -hmm. and from upper middle class. And I was supposed to um, marry to doctors and lawyers and, you know, just typical Korean family. But I guess I'm a black sheep in the family. You know, it's just, you know, my life was a little rough, but um, God was always faithful. He was there for me. Mm -hmm. I met Jesus Christ here in America. My friends at UW, they brought me to churches, you know, and it was weird for me because I, you know, brought in like Catholic family. Not that I'm saying it's bad or not. It's different way of worshiping the Lord. Right. So that's when I met the Lord. And uh, to make the long story short, um, two, three months ago, Mrs. Renton, Jenny Young actually um, asked me to run um, to, be in, to be in the pageant world, mm -hmm. actually. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Mm -hmm. But I asked the Lord, but he, the Lord didn't say no. Mm -hmm. So I might as well do it. Um, so yeah, that's how I met. And I'm so honored to be here, first of all. And also, I am so honored that I am representing city of Bellevue as a Miss Bellevue for America 2020. But actually, I, I would say I'm representing the kingdom of the Lord more than anything. Yes, yes. Yeah. And isn't it awesome how God will give you a platform? Because he created us anyway. And you know our names. I'm Elizabeth. She's Elizabeth. Yay. But the biblical <laughs> term, the meaning of it is consecrated to the Lord. Yes, yes. So we had no choice. <laughs> exactly. But serve the Lord. <laughs> to Jesus the girl. Lord. Yes, the Jesus girls. <laughs> yes. So I thank God for that. And you also studied um, journalism. Yes. And broadcasting. Mm -hmm. So you should be interviewing me, huh? I will, actually, after the show. <laughs> you're going to be my guest. But you, you, you're into... Um, a lot of things and you're helping so many people yeah. and uh, you also at L LA Fitness your health yeah I'm a wellness coordinator, coordinator at uh -huh. LA Fitness downtown Bellevue mm -hmm. so I'm reaching out to a lot of business um, mm -hmm. around the Bellevue mm -hmm. um, I'm just setting up a special rate for them so so I'm just blessed so that I get to meet a lot of business owners mm -hmm. by doing that way. So I'm just bringing awareness of having a fitness and healthy lifestyle as well. Yes, yes. Health is so important. Yes. Yes. And you have um, other sponsors. And would you like to name a few of the oh, sponsors? Oh, yeah, for definitely. So my sponsor, T. Hong at a Salon de Beauté. He actually did my hair. If you go to my Facebook, you can see all of his work. So he's amazing. He used to be a pageant specialist, meaning he did all this you know, makeup mm -hmm. and hair for all the ladies go to the pageant in the past. Mm -hmm. But he took a break, but he's going to um, actually be my hair stylist and also makeup when I am on the stage. May 29th, 2020. Yes. All right. Yes, all right. I'm excited. And you also support pregnant women. You know, and that's yes. so important. Thank you for mentioning the pastor. That is my main platform, actually. I'm just raising awareness of cri for crisis pregnancy centers. I want women going through crisis, crisis pregnancy to know that they don't have to go through it alone. You know, there are people out there who want to help them. So I don't know if I share I, I shared with you before. Me alone going gone through really difficulty. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, you know, it's really hard for me to share in the media. But, um, you know, I told you I was a black sheep in the family and I had a, you know, beautiful child, you know, outside of marriage. And so my family disowned me. So I have to go through all alone. And I had a fear, you know, so what do I do? I'm, I'm going to have abortion. But then at the time, God orchestrated everything. And I met this, um, <laughs> oh, my God, I'm going to cry. That's okay. Um, um, 
um, leave us. Um, she was working in a hospital, and then um, she told me actually, you know, that that means I am um, killing um, the life. That's what she yeah, said. Abortion. Yeah, right, right. abortion. So, um, hmm. yeah. So she risked her job, her so life, much. and she. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, Tim. You're you amazing. Me <laughs> so she uh, risked her job to let me know there's another way. So same day that I met her, she um, had been connected with her pastor, Washington family. Um, their last name is, La you know, uh, Washington, Pastor Dorsey Washington, mm -hmm. and then um, co-pastor. And um, her daughter, their daughter, Veronica Washington, said that, well, Elizabeth, like, you worried about your body figure and not being able to go out and are you kidding me? Who cares? You know, mm -hmm. what's more important yeah. for you? And so they sat down with me and then they literally called me every single day to the point mm -hmm. like, leave me alone. They call me every single day. And then they pray for me, all three of them, the mm -hmm. pastor, the nurse, uh, Levi, and then uh, Veronica Washington. They all pray for me. Mm -hmm. You met, you know, Veronica, yeah, I met right? Her, yes. So, and then my, my heart changed actually. So mm -hmm. actually maybe I can keep this child. And then this place yeah. called Karenat, you know, Karenat, Karenat yes. uh, mm -hmm. came into my life. Um, actually, rewind a little bit. Oh gosh. Um, Tonette Snyder is the lady who actually introduced me to uh, Karenat. Mm -hmm. I was working in a my friend's cafe ten years ago, mm -hmm. and I saw them reading a Bible, mm -hmm. her and her husband. And the Holy Spirit, I feel like at the time, like asked me to talk to her, talk mm -hmm. to them. So, mm -hmm. hey, are you a Christian? Like, duh. It's like. <laughs> oh, you're reading a Bible? <laughs> That's what I said, right? So, like, I want to know more about what you know. Mm -hmm. And the next day, Tonette Snyder um, brought me the Bible. And then mm -hmm. she would just, like, set me through and, this, you know, help me understand the scripture front page yeah. to all the back. Yeah. And, like, so my heart changed, wow. you know? I even met up with this um, Bethany, you know, the organization where you can um, adopt your child and everything. Mm -hmm. So so my, my heart changed to abortion, to adopting Adoption. the child. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep the baby! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. But there was a fear, Pastor. Yeah. You know, what I... Um, failed at the time was I feel so isolated. You know, there's no help. My parents are completely freaked out. They go, mm -hmm. don't even call me. And they just like completely, Elizabeth Kim's gone in the family. Because oh, yeah. they'll put me to class in Korea. Mm -hmm. Come on, you know. So um, that's that. So I didn't have any help, like no money. I was homeless, literally homeless. Mm. So, but then Tonette Snyder, Miss Tonette Snyder took me in. Mm -hmm. So she's with the Lord right now. A um, month ago, I went mm -hmm. to her funeral. Um, yeah, so I just want you to know there are helps out there, yes, you know. Yeah. You feel like you're all alone and you feel like you have to rush to go get an abortion and all that. But um, I'm not saying I'm like abortion is bad or that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is that there are people out there who actually want to help you. That's right. That's right. The first thing that you have to do is that overcome the fear mm -hmm. and do not worry about what other people think. Mm -hmm. If you actually listen to the Lord, small voice, you know, I don't know who I'm speaking to right now. I'm sure there's another Elizabeth it's out there. Millions of yeah. women out there. Yeah. That's feeling that, you know, what should I do and where should I go? Yes. But you had support. God had put a ram in a bush. He'd put people there for you, you know, to help support you so you could keep your baby. And I met him. He's a beautiful boy. <laughs> <laughs> Josiah. <laughs> Josiah. He's nine years old right now. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. So he's excited that mommy's going to be in uh, BD Local today. He was oh. like, what? <laughs> Hi, Josiah. <laughs> Hi, Josiah. And also Jubilee. I have a another boy. But um, also the other thing that I want to tell you, Pastor, is that um, I want to apologize on behalf of all the women who are saying bad things about their um, ex-husband or children's dad and all that. Yeah. I've gone through all that. I had like resentment towards um, my baby's dad. And, you mm -hmm. know, he's an amazing man of the Lord, by the way. He's a good, great friend. You know, his name is Isaac. He's a fantastic, you know. Mm -hmm. So if that was not him, I wouldn't be able to um, keep the baby for so mm -hmm. long. He's an amazing man of God. Praise God. So I encourage you to actually have a good relationship with yeah, your children's father, true. whether you like him or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because um, this resource that I got it from, Karenet, actually, that impact children's uh, well-being. So uh, I don't know if I can read it here. Um, children who grow up without a dad are twice as likely to die before their first birth. Wow, right? 
And the children who grew up without a dad are four times more likely to live in poverty. Mm. This is statistic. I'm not That's saying that everybody's like that, first mm -hmm. of all. But, yeah. yeah. And then uh, physical abuse. Children who grow up without a dad have a 77% greater chance of being physically abused. Mm. And 95% of imprisoned youth like a father's presence in their lives. So go on and on and on. Yeah. But so it tells you how important it behavior, is. Behavior, behavior, yeah. Emotional state, yeah. Right. Yeah. So I am um, supporting a woman who is going through a hard time, you know, uh, when they're going through a crisis in pregnancy. But mm -hmm. also I want to support a father as well. That's wonderful. And, and that I said earlier, I want to say sorry on behalf of all the women. What mm -hmm. that means that if, you know, if your father listen out there, you know, if your girlfriend and baby's mom is like screaming at you, cuss at you, you know, not knowing your value, I'm really sorry, you know. Yeah. But yeah. she's going through a hard time. You know, you have to know the book. Yeah, maybe you should read a book, Five Love Language, you know? Mm -hmm. So woman's like very emotional, you know? So it's like there's thing, men want to have a respect, mm -hmm. woman wants love, love. right? Yeah. So when women feel like they don't feel love, they're just yelling and screaming mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. But then how come you, you're not like speaking my love language? That's what they mean. Mm -hmm. Just give her a big hug, you know, take her out for dinner, and the nice roads will do. Mm -hmm. And the woman out there, please show respect yes. to woman, men, okay? Whether you like him or not, yeah. if you actually say negative things about your children's father, you're hurting your children, yes, actually. Yes, you're hurting those children, exactly. You don't bring that to them. Yeah. You know, because that's between you and the father. You work it out. Exactly. And don't put that, that because that damaged them emotionally. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. So you're you're right. So I'm glad that you brought that point in and apologized for yeah. us. <laughs> <laughs> because there's a lot of women that have resentment and they take it out on their children. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. And it's a and cycle. And it's not the child's going fault. On. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. So that's great. You know, you remind me of an Esther. Oh, I'm flattered. <laughs> for such a time of, as this, yes, you know, yes. God is raising you up for such a time as this. Esther, she had integrity. You know, mm -hmm. she was she was a blessed. She was sent and called by right. God. Yeah. And a lot of times we don't understand why we're in a particular place, mm -hmm. you know, and why we had to go through the things that we go through, but it's for a reason. And you know, God had given me this verse and, and you know, and, and, and I would like to say something about pe to people who are always, you know, trying to, um, pinpoint you as being a certain person, certain thing or, yeah. or saying, Oh, look at her. You know, they don't know where you came from or what yeah. you went through, what yeah. your story is, exactly, you know, yeah. they just want to label you and, you mm -hmm. know, but God don't, he, you know, he's, he, he, he's not, he doesn't want us to do that. Um, I was reading, um, second Corinthians, oh, okay. second Corinthians chapter four, it says, but we have this treasure in earthly vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not desp despaired, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. You know, Amen. we go through things, but God, he brings Amen. us through those things. And for yeah. a reason, for preparation. Yeah. And you look at Esther, she was, you know, they, she had to be prepped for the position that God called her Amen. to That's from right. her child, from, yes. you know, before she was born. Exactly. And we go through things and we can't just, why, why am I going <laughs> through this? And you know, it's for a reason. Yes. You know? Hallelujah. And so God has brought you through that. So you can talk to other women, you know, look how many lives you can save because there's so much, you know, women are, you know, they don't have, you know, the resources and they are afraid, like you say it. Yes. And the first thing they think, okay, I'm going to go have an abortion. I know a lady, she said she had 15 abortions, Aww. 15, those are 15 Aww. lives, you know, and I don't, you know, um, I'm not, you know, just trying to shame her or anything like that. You know, God has grace for you, you know, but that, yes. you know, after the baby is born, you have a, uh, it's, um, it's a grieving process that you go through. Yes, and some women yes, never get yeah. through that process, mm -hmm. you know, because they grieve over that child. Yeah. But God has grace for you. If you've done it, God forgive you. Just ask the Lord to forgive you and don't continue to do that. But, you know, God loves us and he has so much for us. He said, jewels, we're jewels to yes. him. You know, yes, hidden treasure. Yes, you know? hallelujah. He has put himself, you know, he has given us a, the anointing and the Holy Spirit so we can carry 
carry out the task Amen. that he has given us in this life. Hallelujah. Okay? That's right. Preach yes, it, Pastor. Yeah, I, I, you <laughs> know, I am so thankful. You know, yes. I'm just so grateful and thankful Amen. that he saw me through all the trials and tribulations. Yeah. You know, and we go through things every day. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we have to go through it with the smile and say, okay, Lord, I know you're going to, you know, see me through this. You know, exactly. a lot of times I put on a smile. <laughs> you know, I might be going through somebody, something, but you don't, you'll you never know it. Right. You know, and I know a lady, she uh, she would always smile, and she'd be going through a lot of things. I said, how can you smile when you're going through all of mm -hmm. this? She said, you know, because patience is working in me. Oh, God is doing wow. something in, in me. That's amazing. You know? And she realized that, you know, wow. and she said, I'm not going to let nobody right? steal my joy. Amen. <laughs> That's so important right there, Pastor. You know, when you're going through a hard time, mm -hmm. easily we just pick up what the other people say about yeah, you. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, he or she, yeah, he or she, or she don't know, doesn't know what you've gone through. Yeah, yeah. So just do not agree with what he or she say. Instead, fix your eyes on the Lord yeah. and see what God say about mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm, you know, you are mm -hmm. who God say you are. You are not what who people mm -hmm, say you are, mm -hmm. including your mom and dad. I'm not saying mom and dad are better. Obviously, that's not what I'm saying. You know, your identity is in Christ Jesus. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. And you have so many layers to you. You're more than a crown and a sash. Yeah, you know, that's God so has, true, though. Yes, God yes. has put so much in Amen. you, you know? Thank you, Pastor. Yes, yes. So tell us a little bit more about when you went to school and broadcast. And I would also like you to greet your people in your language. Would you do that? Oh, yeah, we yeah. Do that from the beginning, but we can do <laughs> it now. <laughs> so I'm going to teach you today how to say hi in Korean and I love you. Okay, you ready? ready? Okay. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. We just greet like this. Okay. That means hi in Korean. Uh -huh. Okay, your turn. Okay. <laughs> you went a little bit too fast for me, and I don't want to mess up your okay. beautiful language. <laughs> so they, they'll, they'll get it. Okay, so next one is uh, 사랑해요. 사랑해요. 사랑. 사랑해요. 해요. That means I love you. I love you. Oh, Jesus beautiful. Jesus Christ say, 사랑해요. All the people in the world, I love you. <laughs> oh, and God loves you all. Yes. <laughs> so when you was studying, you stu studied in Harvard? Oh, well? that was summer school. Summer school? Yeah, summer okay. for two months. <laughs> oh, well, that. At least you can say. Unless I'm being honest. Um, I went to University of Washington mm -hmm. uh, as an exchange student. Mm -hmm. Mainly, I studied English as a second language program. You know, that's the program that I was in. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, I branched out a little bit. I uh, took linguistic class and the communication class as well. I thought that I'm going to be on, like, CNN and, uh, and all this big broadcasting station. But somehow, at the time, because I did not know Christ well, mm -hmm. my focus was off, you know? That was just me, by the way. I am not, there's no condemnation in Christ Jesus. I'm not talking about you. That was me. That was before I knew the Christ. Mm -hmm. My attention was like, span, span was really short. I was like everywhere. Okay, I'm going to study to be a journalist and whatever. Next day, I want to be a dancer. Next day, I want to be a doctor. Things like that. Mm -hmm. But um, my major in Korea was also broadcasting and journalism, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was in my heart, you know, all the time. Um so that's that. I mean, did I answer your question? Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and But God has opened so many doors for you since you've been in Washington. I see you all over Facebook. I, <laughs> I know. But it wasn't like the pastor before. I know. You know, when that happened, the moment I said, surrender, Lord, I, I cannot do anything, everything myself. Mm -hmm. You are the mm -hmm. owner of my life. I signed a contract. From now on, my life is up, you know, completely mm -hmm. up to you. Then God opened the door for me. Mm -hmm. Before, I just did a tug of war with the Lord. Lord, just if you do this, I will do that and all that stuff. Yeah. But it didn't work. The door kept shutting down and shutting and down. But the moment I said, yes, Lord, I'm going to do everything that you ask me to do. I'm going to say whatever the thing yep. that you ask me to say. Yep. And I got, there you go, girl. And he just opened the door yeah. for me. Yeah. And I think sometimes we're like Moses. Oh, I can't do that. I can't articulate right. I can't do this and all that. And God said, I know you can. I'm going to do it through you. I know. I'm so glad that you mentioned that. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And we do. We think we have to do it all our, on our own. But he mm -mm. does it. You know, yeah. he leads us and he guides us and he d gives us the words to say, you know. And that's what he, a vessel is all about. Exactly. You know, he speaks through us and to us and things, you know, we're not to do it on our own. You know, Amen. people say, Amen. well, well, I was not raised to do this. You know, God is the Holy Spirit 
walks me through this. Amen. You know, I can't do it on my nope, own. Nope. I used to be such a crybaby and afraid of everything. You, you know? are? I but cannot God, imagine. I was. <laughs> and still do cry in the Lord a lot, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, I felt like I couldn't do this or do that. Okay. You know, and those are the people he wants to use. <laughs> yes. You know, because we're not haughty and high-minded. That's right. You know, we're humble Good enough point. to know yeah. that we can't do it without him. I know, and that's right? why he uh -huh. uses us. You know? I think I totally agree with you. Yeah. Just not, not, just I cannot do anything, Lord. I mean, seriously, even like uh, <laughs> driving a car or because I'm I'm Asian driver. Come on, <laughs> like, Lord help me. <laughs> I just need a Jesus yeah. for every single moment. Yes. I really do. Yes. And it just the, the verse awesome. came to my mind. Um, I have a plan for you, not to uh, harm you but prosper you. Mm -hmm. You know, Zeremiah mm -hmm. 29? Yes, right? yes. It just came to my mind all yes, of a sudden. So yes. I don't know who's, who's that for, yes. but there you go. Yes. He has a plan for yeah. you. Yeah, and a future. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and that's true. You know, he's not to do it. He's not going to do anything evil or harm us and things. He's not this yeah. big, you know, some people say, oh, he's just like a, big cosmic bully waiting to hammer down on us if we do something wrong. No, he's a loving God, Amen. you know, Amen. you know, and he has pity on us. You know, he just wants us to have a, a, a full life here on earth, Great. abundant life, you yeah, know, for sure. abundant life. Abundant but life. we do go through struggles and trials. This is because this is the world that we're in, yeah, you we know, the... but he's with us mm -hmm. to see us through that thing Amen. all the way. Amen. So that's the beautiful part of it. Don't you think? Totally. Yeah, because mm -hmm. people thinking that yeah, you believe in Jesus Christ, everything's gonna be dandy. It's not like that, you know. Um, let's say you sign up a gym membership. If you don't go work out, you're not gonna have muscles. Right? Exactly. Same thing. <laughs> like you're in the kingdom now, club now, right? By believing in Jesus Christ, you have to work on the muscle. And God's gonna put you in the place where you have to actually fight through. Mm -hmm. You know. So mm -hmm. there we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no pain, no gain. No pain, no gain, right? <laughs> exactly. So you work at LA Fitness, you already know. Huh? I know, exactly. I mean, there are a lot of people yeah. just like sign up and do not come back. I mm -hmm. mean, like, come on, I just call my member like, hey, I, used to, I signed you up like yeah. two weeks ago, a month ago. Are you going to ever come back? Yeah. It's like, I'm busy, yeah. you know? So it's like that. If you want to see the glory of God and if you want to be successful, you know, whatever that you're doing, that you have to put God first. First. And do not do not argue with the Lord. That's right. If the God shut the door down, there's a reason for it. Mm -hmm. For example, previous job uh, that I had was not actually fitting for me, mm -hmm. and that I could have been like grumbling and like be sad about it all the time. Mm -hmm. But God spoke to me. I have a better things for you. Yes, yes. And then I was yes. obedient. I applied for a job. There we go. I'm working at LF Fitness as a wellness coordinator. I have great relationship with my coworkers and the, even the vice president. So I have mm -hmm. a favor, not mm -hmm. only from the Lord and also from the people that I'm working with because I am humble myself and the listen to the Lord and yeah. the, I do not argue with the Lord as much yeah. as I did. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And that's very important that you listen, that we listen to what the Lord is saying yeah. and don't complain. And, you know, because he wants the best for, for us. Like you said, he's, right. I, I know my thoughts I have towards you. Mm -hmm. You know, they're good, not yeah. evil mm -hmm. for a future he, and plan. He has mm -hmm. plans for us. Us yes. for our life, wow. and another thing you said if he closed the door, don't try to force it back. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that, you know. There's because, so yeah, I know he's like, Okay, I told you, you know, I closed that door for your safety, for your protection. You know, we just yes. have to trust him. You know, and one of my favorite scriptures is trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him mm -hmm. and he shall direct your path. Amen. He will. We exactly. just trust him. That mm -hmm. includes a relationship as well. Your boyfriend mm -hmm. left you, your girlfriend left you, whatnot. Do not dwell on it. I'm not yeah. saying that give up on the relationship right away. You know, maybe you didn't listen to your family, friends or, you know, Jesus Christ saying, no, he or she is not suitable for you. Mm -hmm. Do not be sad. There's some someone better out there yeah, for you. Greater, greater. Mm -hmm. greater. So what's your what's your plans? What's the next thing for you now? Thank you for asking the question. So I am um, starting to basically finish my sponsorship letter, and mm -hmm. then I'm gonna spread it out to all these people oh, who could wonderful. partner with me. Mm -hmm. They they can sponsor me three different way. Um, obviously financially, mm -hmm. and also second of all, the second thing is they can provide the service, just like a tea hong at uh, Salon de Boutet, mm -hmm. or also a photographer, uh, Mr. Mike, 
in uh, downtown Bellevue. Mm -hmm. uh, they could provide that service for me okay. by supporting me. And thirdly, they could just like my Facebook page post and then, you know, share my picture or what I'm doing and follow me and interest me to all these uh, business owners, you know, who could sponsor me financially, whatnot, that that'd be great. Um, all the monies that I am receiving, obviously, is going to be um, uh, for the uh, causes. Like, you know, mm -hmm. I have, I told you my heart is towards this woman going through a hard time, you know, crisis in pregnancy. Christ, mm -hmm. So, um, Karen is one of them, but I'm Care in the Karen and okay. I'm in the, I'm in search of like a lot of different places in Washington right mm -hmm. now. So, if you have any recommendation, please feel free to uh, send me the message. Okay. You know, uh, if you type Miss Bellevue for America 2020, okay. you're going to see uh, my picture and my post. Okay. So Miss Bellevue, Bellevue for, for, 2020. for America 2020. Okay, and that's your contact information. Yes, yes. Great. Could you do that one more time? Miss Bellevue, Bellevue for America, America 2020. 2020. Elizabeth Kim. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, and um, did I say everything? I think so. We all... If, if there's women out there, I know we, we kind of talked a little bit on, touched a little bit mm -hmm. on it, but talk to those women that's pregnant and talk to the audience right now because there's someone right now who needs that help. Needs yeah, I'll, I'll definitely say that. Before I forgot to mention this one really quick, if you okay, don't mind go me. Ahead. So as a part of being in a Miss and Mrs. Washington for America 2020, I also have to fundraise, make a fundraising event for Victoria Siegel Foundation. Okay. Just want to let you know. There's two things that I'm going to um, have it for fundraising oh. event-wise. Okay. Then you go to the next one. So, All right. So here's uh, my encouragement to you. You see me with a crown and sash and makeup and everything. What do you know, Elizabeth? Well, yes, I do know. I was homeless. I was so worried that my baby's going to die in my, my womb because they didn't have food. And every time I pray to the Lord, somebody brought me what, food and somebody, literally, I found $300 on the street. Wow. Like, I, I have to go to another event and obviously God. I'm homeless and, you know, I was staying at my friend's house, but I have to still look good, you know. Mm -hmm. So they did not know. I was like, keep it secret. Like people, a lot of Korean community, still, some of them don't even know. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, so... Do not worry about what other people think or say about you. There's naysayers everywhere. Amen. You know, think about Donald Trump. Not everybody loves him, you know, but he's still still doing the thing that God asked him to do. So you have to have an unction, you know. You have, you're going to do the thing that God asked you to do. And um, hmm, who is the name of that? Uh, Gideon, right? The God? Yeah, Gideon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't hmm. bring all the 2,500 uh, soldiers. There was only 300 of them. The God specifically said, these That's are right. the ones who's going to go with you. Yeah. You know, yeah. be ready. Some of them is going to leave you. And they say harsh things about you, gossip and everything. But do not worry about it. No weapon from against you no shall weapon. be prospered. Mm -mm. Every tongue rise against you shall be in, in judgment. You shall condemn. This is the heritage of a servant of the Lord. Claim that. You know, so whatever that you bound on earth, it's going to be bound on heaven. Yes. Whatever that you loose yes. on earth, it's going to be loose on heaven yes. too. So I'm going to pray for you and pray with you. And yes. I'm going to fight for you. And also, um, if you could consider to say nice things about your children's father yes, and his family as well. Yes. It's really hard at first because I know I've been there. But this is really important for your children. Yes. And there are people out there who actually want to help you and uh, be there for you. And then uh, worrying about finance and everything, don't worry about it. If you give a heart to the Lord Jesus Christ, God's gonna bring all those resources, you're gonna be surprised. Seriously, just like I found $300 on the street. Mm. Not kidding. This, this mm. is actually, and once you walk yeah. in that spiritual realm, you know, whatever that happened, your, your mind, whatever that you thinking in the past or present now is not making yeah. sense. Yeah. That is God. God our God is so big, he departed the, the Red Sea, and then the land of Israel was formed in three mm -hmm. days. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. We can't even get a job in three days. I know. <laughs> so, right? This is God that yes. you serve. Yes. Give Jesus Christ a chance. Yes. This is the proof that I am nothing, like I am just dust, ex ex except mm -hmm. for Jesus Christ. But because I invite Christ in my life, he's elevating me yes. to let you know that there's hope. And then God is going to, you know, uh, bring everything. How do I say? All this uh, difficulty, everything's going to come out of you. Mm -hmm. That you're going to be next 
Queen Esther. That's right. That you're going to be here <laughs> sitting next to Pastor Elizabeth, right? Oh. About your life. Yeah. I cannot wait yeah. to see you. Yeah. God is so good. And he said, eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard the good things that he has prepared for those who love him. Amen. You know, if you just give your life to the Lord, just give him a chance. Like Elizabeth said, just give him a chance yes. because he's the creator. He's the maker. He knows what's best for us. I know it's stepping out on faith, but that's what it's all about. You know, the invisible. You can't see the air, but it's here. <laughs> but he loves you and we love you. And our time is out. Thank you so much for being here, Elizabeth. Thank you for having We're me. We're going to have to do that again. Yes, again. for sure. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> You've been listening to Greater Faith Outreach Ministries with Pastor Elizabeth, reaching the world with the love of God. If you'd like prayer or a copy of today's program, log on to www.greaterfaithoutreach.com or call 253-324-7902.